Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and face off against Gott. Was that Gott? I think that was Georg. Yeah, that was definitely Georg. Alright, um, that's Twin Mold, so... The last guy back here running around the back. He's trying to escape, but you're not. I'm not gonna let you. Ah, oh, nice weather, isn't it? Masks, you have a lot. You too will be... Okay, he just says the same thing as the other guy. I'm pretty sure they all just say the same thing. Uh, the all-night masks, there's really nothing behind that. And more? Okay. How about... Jeez. Uh, Don Jiro's mask. I don't really care about the frogs too much. Uh, okay. Hide and seek, let's play. Oh my god, this one's the hardest one, though. This trial right here... When I first did this, this took me days to complete. I'm not even kidding. And part of that was just because I was, like, a child and my... I guess my skills weren't fully developed yet. But I still think it's pretty damn hard. Basically, you gotta get your Goron mask, and you gotta go on a big roll. Like in Super Mario Galaxy 2, in that one galaxy, a melty monster. It's a roll like that, except much more deadly, in my opinion. Alright, so when you come to a corner like this, where there's two chests... What? <laughs> okay, I guess the Goron wanted to restart then. That's fine by me. Basically, when you come to like chests like that, you want to just hit it without touching the control stick at all. All you really want to be pressing on the controller is A at that point, just so you can stay up curled in a ball. What? Um, that was stupid. Yeah, and if you have Chateau Romani, you don't even have to worry about refilling your magic stuff every time. But that's what those pots are there for. All right, let's try this again. Try not to screw it up here. That was weird. I wasn't even touching the control stick when it bounced me way back. Oh, by the way, those rainbow puddle things that I am keep passing, those will teleport you back to the start if you need them. And this part is where it starts to get tricky. Because now you actually have to move the control stick and maneuver yourself around the corners. Oh my goodness. No! Yeah, see what I mean? See what I mean? If you're just like a little bit off, there's no way you can recover because you can't like move around in midair. So this can get kind of annoying, and I foresee editing in my future in this area. Boy. But this area is kind of cool, I gotta admit. Just with all these archways and stuff, it makes you feel just like... I don't know really how it makes you feel, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm, I can't, can't even really say how it makes me feel. Because I'm not thinking about that right now. Wow. Jeez, it looks like a caterpillar right there for a second. Oh, go on. Okay, let's go for it again. Down the brown stripe of awesome. The brown stripe down my pants. Ew. Oh, good lord. Stay on target. Stay on target. You know what? I haven't even played Star Fox 64. I have no right to be making those references. I know that might be somewhat of a shocker to the people listening right now, that there is still someone out there who has not played Star Fox frickin' 64! I think I saw the Goron's butt as he fell out there, like he was falling face first down the hole. You never see that happen, that just doesn't happen, it's just, that's just not right. But yeah, like not, I haven't played Star Fox frickin' 64, like I said before. And I did get it off the virtual console recently, and I tried to play it a little bit, but I think I was just too tired or not in the right mood or something. But I did have fun during it, it was just kind of weird to control since I've been playing like lots of more modern games lately, and the controls and that just feel so clunky now, but I suppose it was actually pretty good for an N64 game, for, or for like its time, I guess, really. Alright, ooh, am I gonna make it this time? Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Oh crap, oh crap, oh shoot, <laughs> I almost just slid right off the edge there, do you believe that? But here we are, that was actually not as time-consuming as I thought it would be. Anything over here of interest? Probably just more magic, yeah. But over here is what we want. It's a heart piece! Yay! Oh man, I want to get like a heart piece as each of the different forms. Like, I've got one as a Deku and a Goron now. I'll get one as a Zora and then as normal Link, finally. Look at this cool altar, though. It's just like all the stained glass stuff. It's actually kind of cool. I don't know what this design just supposed to be. Let's get a close look. Okay, now it's just pixels. <laughs> Whatever. This looks like it could almost be a door. Huh. I would do that. I would, like, put a door that there randomly that's just, like... I don't know. There wouldn't even have to be anything in the room that the door leads to. Just, like, put a door there. 
and just make a room in there that's just kind of like a cool design or something, I would go for that. I'm always up for those kinds of things in games that are just like pointless it seems, except for the aesthetic purposes. Or just to be found by players who are seeking secrets. So that's kind of neat. There's a rainbow puddle right in the middle there. Be careful not to step in that, otherwise you'll have to get all the way back here again. And... Boom! Right across. Oh my god. I have expected to see a boss door right here leading to Gaut. I don't know why I'm destroying these. I don't need the magic. Alright. And in here now. Except the floor is red this time before it was green. It still looks kind of viney though. Hey, I want more masks. Alright, fine. I'm not giving my bunny hood. I'm not giving that up. I swear I'm not. Um. Jeez. Let's give it the circus leader's mask and the mask of truth. Yeah, basically, like, the the pattern to this is that, like, Adalwa will take two masks, then Gott will take four masks, then, uh, Georg will take six, and Twinwell will take eight. And that'll add up to twenty. So you'll have to give all, the, all your masks away eventually, except the transformation ones. Wow, that was really formal and stupid. So I have to make up for it by going like, blah, 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 dick. Um, can I ask a question? You, what makes you happy? I wonder, what makes you happy? Does it make others happy too? Well, kicking your ass made me pretty damn happy, and I think it made other people happy too. So, yeah, I think certain things, well, I guess not everything that makes me happy can make others happy. But a lot of things do, I'd like to think. Like LPing in general, that makes me happy. And it makes most of my viewers happy, I hope. Because if you're not happy right now, then I'm living a lie! I'm living a lie! Alright. Ah, oh, nice weather, isn't it? Oh yeah, you say the same thing. I'm a fish out of water. Alright, and he wants three masks this time. So you can take... Oh god. Um... Garrow's mask? No, not yet. Jeez, so many good masks. Oh, why do I sell that mask? And I guess the pigma mask. Here you go, buddy. I don't know what Georg wants with all these masks. Seriously, I'm just gonna give him all the crap masks so he can't get more powerful. Why is Link slowly stepping back? Oh, there's Twin Mold running around the back. He's like, hey, I want some screen time too. Okay. And in my opinion, this trial of all the four trials that you have to do in this on the moon are, is this one's actually pretty much the easiest. If you know what you're doing. Because. Basically, there's just like a bunch of different paths that you can take. There's like always just gonna be like a fork in the road that takes you either left or right. And you have to pick which one, and there's only two paths that you really need to take. One leads to a heart piece, and one leads to the actual kid. For the heart piece, you're gonna, gonna want to go left, and I re highly recommend hugging the walls during this so that you don't accidentally stray off the. stray off onto the other way, because that will definitely screw you. Yeah, so for the heart piece, it's left, right, left, left, as you can see there. And it'll be behind the Gossip Stone. So be careful not to, like, walk right past the Gossip Stone as you... Because you... I've done that before, honestly. Like, when I first... Probably when I first came there, I was just like, Oh, well, there's nothing here. All I see is a Gossip Stone. And then I, like, dive into the water. And I'm just going too fast, and I, like, notice the heart piece at the last moment. Oh, this is the wrong way entirely. Yeah, you never want to start off going right. Because to get to the kid now, you actually have to go left, right, left, right. I think. It should be it. And other than those two passages, I don't think there's really anything of interest. Just some gossip stones that will tell you the locations of more masks. Because you know that's the most important information at this point. Since you can't even go back. Well, I don't know, you might be able to go back if you play this long time or something. I need to take a drink from my big tall glass of Coke. Well, I don't have a tall glass this time, I just have a can. Still, though, that was funny the way I said big, tall glass. That was ridiculous. In that Anju Cafe video. And now whenever I think of that, I like think of something that's just taking way too long. A lot longer than it should. So I'm just... Maybe that'll become like a catchphrase, I don't even know. That would be the stupidest catchphrase if it did, but... I don't know. You want more masks? Okay. Oh boy, getting down to the wire here on these masks. Uh, you can take the Keaton mask, the Bremen mask... And I guess the bomb mask, or the blast mask. I always call it the bomb mask. That's probably what it should have been called in the first place. Alright, now we only have eight more masks left. How sad. Hmm, can I ask a question? The right thing. 
What is it? I wonder, if you do the right thing, does it really make everybody happy? Well, not everybody. Because, like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of an example now. Like, if you, like, returned, if you, like, took back the money from some guy who stole money from an old lady and gave it back to the old lady, that's the right thing to do. But it would not make everyone happy. It wouldn't make, like... It probably wouldn't make your parents happy, for one thing, if you're, like, a kid doing it, because then they'll be like, Oh my god, you could have gotten hurt! Ah. And yeah, and all that jibberty jar. And it definitely will make the criminal happy, because he won't have any money. So, there you go. But if that's not true, then I'm living a lie! I'm living a lie! Okay. Alright, you want more masks? Okay. We gotta give this guy four here. Four masks. And all of these are actually kind of cool stories. Alright, Captain's Hat... Um, ooh, Romani's mask, the stone mask, well, that's all I can equip right now, so, here you go, twin mold, oh my goodness, oh no, now I gave him the cow mask, now he can get into the milk bar and get his own Chateau Romani, good god, he's power, he's unstoppable now, alright, and he wants one more of these masks, let's give him, shit, the bunny hood. It's been very useful to us, but... You know, the story behind it is just not that great. I was kind of, like, avoiding it, even though I knew the story behind the mask wasn't that great. I just didn't want to give it up, because it's been so useful. Anyways. I'm going to take a drink really quick. Mm. Alright. For some reason, I remember starting on, like, the other side of the room when I first did this. It feels like it's mirrored now somehow. Whatever. Ooh, rupees. And over here we got more supplies. Magic! Yay. Oh, by the way, also just uh, aside from picking up your Chateau Romani before coming to the moon, I also recommend you stock up on some other supplies. Like you can see I have bomb chews, bombs, arrows. Um, I guess the powder cake was a little bit overkill, but you never know. There might be some kind of cool thing I could do that no one else has ever done before. Oh, it's you? You stupid thing. I've faced off against you long enough. You should know by now that you cannot possibly win this battle. Stupid Lizalfos. Take this. Yeah. What was that? What was that? That was just stupid. Well, at least... And this guy gets the coolest room out of all of these freaking monsters you have to fight in here. It's kind of silly. What's in here? Oh, okay. Oh, what happens if I hit it? Because it won't tell me the time anymore. Just nothing? Okay. Fine by me. And in here, oh, we got the Garrow Master. Okay. Oh, no. I totally backflipped away from you. I guess not in time, though. Right. No! I, I didn't mean to sidestep. Come on, Link. Backflip. Backflip! What? Oh, shoot. Okay, that was... That was almost... Oh, what? He blocked it. Don't... You don't block it. Oh man. Hey, hit him. No, stupid. Oh man. <laughs> I'm just not this is just not my day. I I wasn't expecting to fight the Garrow Master of all people. I've already fought you twice, bro. Hey. Hey, I'm trying to backflip, but Link's just not responding. You know. I should control alt delete Link. Well that would be bad, because then this LP would be over just like that. Wow, that would be stupid. Oh no! forgot about your stupid little spin attack move. Alright, sweet. Haha, ha, you're dead. You're dead. You're deader than shit. Oh, shit! <laughs> of course, he explodes. Damn it, I always forget that. Every time. Every single time. Alright. This puzzle is not too hard to solve, it looks like. I'm pretty sure you actually need bomb juice to solve one of these later puzzles, from what I remember. And that's kind of silly. It's like the only time time in the game you absolutely have to use bomb juice. But it's also why I stocked up on it. Ooh, an iron knuckle. Okay. Let's hit him. Yar! Boom. How fast will this guy go down with the great fairy sword? I don't even know. Boom. Oh man, he's already down to his skin. Oh no. Now it's shirts versus skins. Uh oh. No. You should not have hit me there. I don't care what you say. Ooh. 
Oh my god, I thought I saw his face there for a second. He looked like Mozart. That definitely could not have been his face, because I know Iron Knuckles do not look like Mozart. That would be ridiculous. Mm. Yay, bomb chew. Man. Just looking down at my rupees now, nine just seems like such a surreal number, and I have no idea why. Alright, so, from what I remember, there's something around here that you have to use bomb chews on. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. But how am I going to go about this? Um, I have 20 bomb chews, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. If 20 bomb chews is not enough to figure this out, then I don't know. Okay, that's not going to work. So I have to be, like, really far back, but I was at the wall here, so... Can I glitch through the wall? <laughs> Even if I could, that wouldn't work. Um... How about this? Oh, perfect! That exploded, like, right in the center of that crack. That was awesome. Okay. Well, there you go. That's how you do it. It's probably not the only way to do it. You can probably fire it off at some obtuse angle. But, that's probably the easiest way to do it right there. Right, what other monster could I have to fight next? I mean, seriously, an iron knuckle was... What tops an iron knuckle now? Except for, oh, a piece of heart. Okay. <laughs> That definitely tops an iron knuckle, and that is our 20th heart container. Finally done with those heart containers. It's been 52 long heart pieces to get here. And quite a few, well, only like, only like four heart containers, really, but we're done with it. Alright, how do I get past this now? Oh, man, what? Do I have to use bomb shoes again? Is there something else on the wall? No. Um... Well, shoot. Oh, okay, it's on the ceiling this time. Alright, so I'm guessing head way back against the wall. And then firebomb to like this. Oh, dude. Firebomb to right across the... Oh, my god, my ear is itching. But I know if I scratch, it's gonna mess up the microphone. Urgh, maybe I can just wait it out. It's so annoying, though. Don't you just hate that? If you're an LP out there, don't you just hate it when your ear itches and you're wearing your headphones and stuff? It's horrible. Okay, I can't ignore that. Sorry. This is gonna probably mess up my microphone, but here we go. Jeez, I almost started talking there with my microphone muted. Can you believe that? Yeah, but that's so much better now. Oh my goodness. But now, I hope my mic is still in an, an ideal position. Judging by, like, the wavelengths on Audacity, I think it's still fine. Alright, so that thing where I stood up right against the wall didn't work. So I need more room than that, which means I need to go at some kind of angle. Let's just try it. <laughs> Let's just give it a go. Oh, what the heck? What the heck was that? No, that's not gonna work. Let's try it at a different angle. Hell. I have enough bomb shoes to be affording to try just random things. Oh, okay. I totally missed that, but I guess the blast radius on that was enormous. So I hit it. Sweet. And they just make you use fire arrows just for that extra little bit of inconvenience. In case you don't have Chateau Romani. Which you're likely not to if you're doing this for the first time. Because, like, when you're doing this for the first time, you think, like, you just defeat the Skull Kid on the clock tower and that's it. But no, there's much more to it than that. Alright, you want the final four masks? Alright. What order will I give them to you in, though? Alright, take the Gibdos mask first. No, wait, actually take Cafe the mask first. Then... Gibdos mask. Then the Postman's hat. And of course I'm saving the couple's mask for last. That's just, you know me that way. Alright. And now, even though I saved it for last, we are going to have to give up the sentimental value that we attached to the couple's mask. Goodbye! Yeah, go get married, Twin Mold. Marry your sister. The red one. Okay. Your true face. What kind of face is it? It's a human face. <laughs> I wonder, the face under that mask, is that your true face? Well, I'm not wearing a mask. I don't think I am. Hold on. No, I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> so I'm not wearing a mask, definitely. Um, so yeah, I guess this is. I, I, I don't know. It's supposed to be really philosophical or something. But it just completely went over my head. Alright. Well, look at that. We've given up all but these three transformation masks. So, what now? What can 
What, what could we possibly gain from that other than the heart container? Well, it just so happens that there is one more little kid, one more little mask salesman kid, up here, right under the tree. And what's he wearing? That's right, it's Majora's mask. And it looks slightly less colorful right now. Maybe that's just the lighting of the moon, I don't know. But, let's talk.